so today we're making this uh chicken adobo bowl got my table out here uh check out the decals yeah nice no cheese none at all all right first i was thinking like a sticky rice to go with this bowl i didn't really know what kind of rice to make so we're gonna be making sticky rice uh you make it with jasmine got my uh custom made uh handcrafted rice washer right here and uh a little blender bottle for the uh measuring that's my measuring cup so go ahead and measure out some rice and for the jasmine rice to make it sticky you want to do uh one to one and a quarter ratio so for every one cup of rice you're gonna do one and a quarter cup of water right now i'm just rinsing it out uh, definitely want to rinse your rice see all that cloudy water and stuff that's no good that's starch and 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 yucky stuff so go ahead and wash that off and don't drink it uh, throw that water out you don't want to that, that water's trash now yeah that that rice washer is pretty cool an old uh tibetan monk up in the hills made that for me i had to pay him 50 rupees All right, now we're gonna go ahead and throw it in the pressure cooker. Doing this on high for three minutes and make sure you get every single last grain of rice. No man left behind. Go ahead and add your water in there. And uh, I'm gonna be doing this on high for three minutes and then we're gonna net it, let it natural release for 10 minutes before we pop the little, the little seal. Make sure you turn your truck on too, uh, otherwise your invert will be going crazy. All right, while we're waiting for that to cook, go ahead and chop up some veggies. I got an onion and a pepper and my chef knife i know i know i need a bigger knife but this knife is nice and small it doesn't take up too much space and if i slip with this in this little tiny confined space uh, i'm not worried about chopping my whole hand off just a fingertip so i'll take that we're gonna do these in uh slices so nice thin sliced uh vegetables here cut the top and the bottom off if you want this is how I do my little uh, julienne. You guys didn't know I was a cook, did you? <laughs> this is a chef DJ for real. Go ahead and julienne your stuff here. Uh, that just means slice it real thin, straight. And then uh, I don't like to, to waste the pepper, so I just I chop the whole thing. And I'm only using half an onion here, I believe. Yeah, I only used half the onion here. I got the other half saved for, for something else. Uh, but then just go ahead and chop up your onions there. Pretty easy. Oh, look at that, the rice is done. Go ahead and take that out. Nice. Go ahead and fluff that up, let the air get into it. This also helps it stop cooking so it doesn't uh, overcook and get mushy. So you definitely want to fluff your rice when you're done with it. I'm just going to stow that away for later. All right. These are the ingredients you'll need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is an easy recipe. First, we put the diced tomatoes down and then you put your chicken breast on top of that. These pressure cookers, man, uh, if you lay the meat directly on the bottom, it'll it'll throw a burn code it'll say like your food's burning or something because it, it's getting too hot so put the tomatoes down one can of tomatoes down first i doubled this recipe uh, i like to cook a bunch of food so i got some for later diced tomatoes down chicken breasts on top of that and then one serving of the seasoning on those breasts i'm going to go ahead and put the other tomatoes in now add your water and we'll go ahead and put the uh, onions and peppers in. 
and then we'll put the other uh, serving of seasoning on top of the onions and peppers. That way you got the meat seasoned and you got the onions and peppers seasoned. Yeah. Look, I know a thing or two, okay? I know it. Don't put it past me. I know a couple things. All right, we're going to do this on, uh, again, pressure cook on high, uh, 13 minutes, and then just pop the thing open. The recipe calls for an oven, but I already have too much stuff in this truck, so I'm not trying to bring a, a an oven in here, too. I got too many appliances already, so once that's out, go ahead and shred the chicken, and then uh, I'm just plating it up for, uh, for storage. So I'm going to fill up a couple of these things uh, with the shredded chicken. I drained most of the juice out, but I kept some in there to keep the chicken moist, and that's what it's looking like think if you do it in a in an oven it'll turn out better now i got these avocados fresh but i did buy frozen chunked avocados so that way i could just pull out a you know a little handful of them whenever i wanted to and they'd always be fresh because you know these things once they ripen you got to eat them right away so and then we'll go ahead and plate this up uh just put the rice in now i'm gonna make it look all pretty for the thumb did you see the thumbnail yeah, I made it look all pretty for that, but you don't have to make it look all pretty. I, I just mix it all together when I'm done anyway. But rice down and we got the chicken. Uh, I got some black beans here. I didn't go. I didn't warm these up. Uh, I didn't feel the need to because they were room temperature. Uh, but if they're in the fridge, you might want to warm them up. I don't know. It's up to you. We got our fresh avocado, our free shavakadu going in. And uh, yeah, that's how it's looking right there. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and try that recipe out if you want. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to wash this down with a little LaCroix. This is a lime. And, uh, yeah, there we go. I'm, I'm eating it. I'm loving it. You see the little slight head nod of satisfaction there? Uh, you got to have that to, to show the people that it's a good recipe. It did taste pretty good. I definitely think I would have liked it if it was in the oven, though. But go ahead and give that a shot. Uh, thanks for watching. Stick around. I'm filming another video as we speak. I know. I know. See ya.